Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> I've been trying to address my mess for the last couple of years, and I've been, I've got two new toolboxes there, which is okay, complete disarray, but my current project is this guy here. It's a wooden dresser I painted 25 years ago. That has been sitting there since we bought the house, and uh, it's all broken. The drawers don't open, and I'm real bummed out about it, but it's got to go. So, let me show you what I picked up from Home Depot. There it is, the Husky 46 inch 9 drawer bubble workbench with solid wood top. Finally, in blue. For some reason, the blue one is uh, 350 bucks. That's $50 or $60 cheaper than their regular one. So, and $100 cheaper than any other color. So. Uh, let's get this thing unloaded here. See what's in the box. Directions on how to unpack. Number one, don't drop. <laughs> it right here. Okay, take it out. Ah, take this out. Okay. Let's throw all this stuff over here. Yeah. in a hundred years. There we go. So, if you hold it here, hold it right there. Go ahead, hold it there. All right, got it. And you make a straight line. Got it. And then you do this. Now, you have a chalk line. It's perfectly straight. Can I try it? It's kind of hard to do alone. But you can try it if you want to.
Go ahead. Okay, I'll hold it. You pull it. It pulls hard. Watch your fingers. There you go. Keep pulling. Okay, now pick it up and snap it like a banjo string. There you go. And now you have a nice straight chalk line. saw that that dropped, right? Yeah. We're going to drop and carry this right into the trailer because I'm sure you planned for it. No, I really didn't. <laughs> so let's carry it over there. What about me? You are going to get out of the way. Watch out. Can't you coming are a better door than you are, or wall than you are a door. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to put the toolbox on these two pieces of plywood so it's not sitting on the concrete rusting out. The two by fours are backstops because I don't want it to go any further back than that. And the front of the toolbox should line up right here. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So I have it on a couple of half-inch plywood boards. The two by fours behind to stop it right where I want it to stop. I just have this gap here, and we're gonna just take a two by four, jam it in there. Would you put that end up for me, Brian? All right, I jam this guy in there. There you go. Just like brand new. So there's the plan. I'm happy with it. You gonna paint all this blue? No. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna paint it. So, let's get the drawer. Let's slide that drawer in there. And uh, we're gonna start loading the tools into my toolbox. Not bad. It's on sale, $350 from Home Depot. Did you get that side right? Bring the track out a little bit. Get this started. Alright. Sweet. Really, Luna? I like it. Not perfect, but it's a whole hell of a lot better Luna. than what I had in here before. So, yeah, I'm happy. Comes with all sorts of mats. Cool. Alright. My new Husky toolbox. Think it was worth it. Think it looks good. Have to find a way to put power to it. Maybe. See if I can put some power on that sucker. But uh, beautiful. I know you're jealous. All right, so there's that one done. We're gonna do some more work in the garage, organizing tools. Try and get this mess, mess of a garage taken up now. So I have plenty of toolbox storage and uh, we are good to go. So I'll bring you back for more. All right, so I've worked on the Husky toolbox a little bit. I am going to put uh, a two by four all the way across there just to make it look nice. But right now, this isn't doing anything. And it has power cords back there and the hiding junk. So I do have it plugged in. And uh, here's what I did. Let's take a look inside. This is all my uh, 
most used tools, my drills and my heat gun. Now, you notice how the drawer is self-closing. If I pull it all the way out, it's fine. But you give it a little push. There she goes. That's because I am not level. <laughs> Look at how far off I am right here. Doink! So the back of my concrete slopes down and is causing that problem. It was a real pain in the ass to get the toolbox to sit where it is. So I cut shim it. But then I thought, why? If my drawer closes all by itself, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to leave it alone. I don't see any real reason to level it. So if I was the type, type that had tools in here, I had to sit here and I had to look for a tool and my drawer kept closing, that could be annoying. That's not how this toolbox is being used. The next drawer down is I put all my chargers in here. So this should built up all sorts of heat and burn my garage down any day now. But uh, I have to get a wire manager here on that uh, cable so they don't get snagged up. It'll be okay for now. Next one down is empty. I don't know what to use it for. This one down here, the jigsaws and a sawzall. This one down here, a oh, couple of circular saws and another um, sawzall. So lots of corded, corded stuff in here. Over here are all corded drills. I do not know why I have five corded drills. Other than that one back there is kind of a family heirloom uh, from my father's from the 60s. So, he didn't know I stole it from him. Alright, next one down. Empty. Next one down, empty. These are uh, grinders, sanders, that sort of crap. So, all my tools that have uh, cords on them are now in this box. I have a couple of empty drawers I haven't decided what to do with yet, but that's a problem I like to have. I do like the USB port charger charging my light here. I hooked up my Google Chrome to it, um, so it's all good. And uh, so far I'm digging it. I'm real happy. Uh, to have it usable. I mean the old dresser drawer that was there Worked, but I hated just opening the drawers So this will get used all the time Thanks for watching uh, Leave a comment. Let me know what you think on how I installed mine uh, Press the like button ring a ding ding the bell subscribe. I appreciate it. Have a good day uh, Bye-bye